All right, part two. Um, in part two here, we're going to do what the organ is doing. And we're going to use the same chords that the guitar was doing, but we're going to play it differently. The organ's doing something like this. doing chords and it, it, the organist does some other things I'm going to kind of show you that too but uh, let's do it straight here straight lace here through with chords first remember when you have a whole band playing and you have a keyboard that's in there and you take just the keyboard keyboard part out and do it sometimes it's not satisfying because you don't have all the other instruments in there so when you play it as a solo you have to do some things a little differently to make it sound like you still sound good, okay? So keep that in mind. But I am going to show you uh, some things that the organist is doing. Um, mainly, it's it's this, the same chords the guitar did, but in a different pattern. Here's the pattern. Uh, it's going to take a little technical prowess here to do this, because this is not so easy. Um, you got the chord here, so you've already done the guitar part, so I'm going to assume you already know the notes. We're going to go left, we're going to go... I'm sorry, I <laughs> pointed to the wrong note. See what I did there? I start with this next to the lowest one and go down to the thumb, then this one, back down to the thumb, then this one, back down to the thumb, then this one, back down to the thumb. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten notes. So you play left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up and down on each one. Kind of classical sounding. Okay, it's a sound that has a classical uh, little sound to it. So, <clears throat> and it, it helps if you'll kind of a pivot, roll back and forth, if you know anything about piano technique. Um, when you have a chord pattern like that, a lot of things are all on the wrist. Okay, I was playing frisbee the other day. All on the wrist. Racquetball, all on the wrist. A lot of things people say, it's all on the wrist, and that's very true. It's in the wrist. Here too. Okay. See how I'm throwing my hand back and forth? And I exaggerate it, that I exaggerate that motion when I'm practicing so that when I do it, uh, you know, a performance for normal, it, you know, it kind of feels more natural. If you exaggerate something and then you go back and do it the way you should do it, then it feels a little more comfortable. Then present just that little wiggle back and forth, okay? So we have the... That just changes the chord to an E7. You can do that if you want or not. And then it does a... And then a, something like that. Okay, I'll show you that in a minute, that little blues thing he does. But, uh, so you go through the whole progression like you did with the guitar, but do it with that pattern. Now let me show you something else. The... Uh, uh, keyboardist does here. He'll put a, right here, he'll put an E flat in there with that chord. So you can do it like this. A, C, E flat, F, makes it an F7. And that kind of adds a little flavor to that chord. So we go... Dun -dun 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 See, so I just went... You just play it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six substitute that for what we were doing if you'd like. Um, and then something he does here when uh, right there I didn't write this out but if you want to do it on this E chord you can do something you can take this G and E and then flip that D sharp like this. See what I'm doing? That's blues. That's blues. And then there right there I go 
G and E flat together, and then I flip it down to D. And then C, A, so I go... Okay, so the first one is you flip here, D sharp to E with a G on top. And then that one is flip to D the other way, flip the other way. C, A. lesson we'll do. Some of you might want to play the melody with this, so that's what we're going to do in lesson three.